Welcome back to Trading with CJ. Today we have an update on one of our most popular stocks on this channel. We've been speaking about HCMC since early January time, and this stock has been on an absolute roller coaster for many of us as investors. First started speaking around about these at a tenth of a penny, just under a tenth of a penny. And then this one went up to crazy, crazy highs around about 0.006 or something like that. We're currently now back down to 0.0016 at this time of recording. This is very, very volatile. I will say that. And if you've been following HCMC, you know that we are waiting all the lawsuit news, which could take weeks, could take months, okay? Could take years. This is potentially going to be a very long hold, but it could really pay out in the long term, okay? But we just had some big news out from HCMC a couple days ago. If you appreciate all these updates, please go ahead and smash the like and subscribe to my channel. We've got lots of updates coming out on some of our favorite penny stocks, as well as some brand new ones coming to the channel very, very soon as well. I have a Patreon where we give out exclusive videos and access to my buys and sells as well. Come join us, link in the description below. And let's get into this. This is a rights offering, okay? Healthy Choices Management files registration statement for rights offering exclusively for its stockholders. Now we'll say from the outset, this is not yet uh, going through, confirmed, okay? There's still, we, still have to, we have to wait for the SEC filing, etc. but this is what's on the table here, okay? In a nutshell here, you're gonna have the chance here to purchase some shares at a 25% discount. Now, I have done a rights offering before. I did one on 2E, okay? Done a video on that back in the November, December time. I did a rights offering and it really did pay out, okay? I got some big, big gains on my stocks. I got them at crazy, crazy discount prices. It really is a good initiative to get more shareholders that are currently invested in the stock interested and purchase more shares reducing the outstanding float because more shares are being bought up as well okay so and the great thing for this is this is for its current stockholders some companies put out these rights offerings uh, to anybody so even if you're not currently invested you can take advantage of a rights offering but for this one you need to be its current stockholder so they're kind of like rewarding uh, its shareholders here HCMC really are doing big things right now so this is not directly uh, news relating to the lawsuit this is if you're interested in this company, maybe in the long term, or getting some additional shares. So I will read through some of this letter. It's, it's fairly long, but I'll read through some points of it. You may have heard about it by now, but I'm just trying to give this to you in a nutshell, in the most simplest way. But first and foremost, on behalf of their executive staff, they want to thank everybody and their shareholders for their support. And they have gained a lot of support over these last few months. And it does say here they presently sit over 400,000 shareholders. I believe when we first started covering this, it was like 30,000 or something, some crazy low amount. But now we're at 400,000 shareholders. Additionally, I would like to publicly thank the 124 employees, etc. We'll skip all past all of that. We want to know about the rights offering. They do clear out that this is not to be confused with a reverse stock split. Generally, when you get a reverse split, the share price, okay, people will start selling their shares. They don't like that. They don't like reverse splits. They're saying this is not to be confused. Use. Now, whilst it is not necessarily a reverse split, it is kind of similar in a sense, okay? But this is a rights offering. You have the chance to decide whether you want to take part in this or not. You don't have to take part. If you don't take part in this, it's fine, okay? You, you don't lose, you don't you necessarily lose your money. You don't you know, nothing really happens, okay? You just lose percentage overall of your holding, but your money stays the same, your shares stay the same, okay? It'd just be down to how much ownership of the company you technically have. But you don't have to opt into this rights offering if you don't want. That's the difference here from reverse split. Reverse split will just happen. This is basically a choice. So that's one of the main differences here, okay? Please note, in general, the company's board of directors at some time in the future deem it to be the best interest of its shareholders to recommend a reverse split. It will have to send out proxy to the common shareholders detailing its reason. So if they did want to go for that, they would definitely let us know well in advance, okay? And it will need to be approved by any shareholders owning over 50% of common stock of the company. And as always, without that major shareholder approval, no stock split can uh, happen. Once again, this is not a reverse split, okay? This is a rights offering, a great way to get investors on board buying up those shares at a cheaper price. So let's go on to this. It goes on to say, they're raising this additional funding, which they're hoping to raise here over $100 million. If all of this, if everybody takes up this share split, it should be $100 million, which is gonna be in crazy, crazy gains for this company. They say they require additional funding to achieve this to potentially non-dilutive manner to current shareholders, okay? The board has decided to move forward with a rights offering. It's essentially allowing shareholders the ability to purchase common stock from the company at a discounted price, as I've already said. They hope to achieve their goal of raising capital and building a significant war chest. 
war chest, okay? Offering you the right to participate and not face dilution that typically happens uh, from uh, investment fund or institutional investors. The proceeds are gonna be used for general working capital purposes, including protection of our IP rights through litigation and other methods, funding future research and development for both our IP suite and product offerings, and funding growth initiatives, expansion for healthy food, vitamins, and supplements, and vape sectors. Basically, they're just raising a lot of funds here to A, help them grow, but this does sound like maybe this is, it says it to protect their IP rights. What are we currently waiting for? The lawsuit which has breached their patent rights. So maybe this is, a, but we're maybe raising funding here to go towards this lawsuit against Philip Morris. Just because this doesn't mean they think they're gonna lose a lawsuit, but lawsuits cost money. This could potentially be helping uh, HCMC out to get this lawsuit and uh, keep this going on to into court, etc. Hopefully get the result we're all waiting for, which is a HCMC to win the lawsuit, get a substantial amount of cash, get the share price up, and let's all make loads of money. That's what we're really hoping for here. Once again, we don't know, okay? This is speculative. Please always do your own research when investing into a company. So they break it down really nicely on this document. They say for every four shares of common stock that you currently own, common stock is just general stock, what we own now, whether it be by 212, Robinhood, etc., whatever your brokerage is. Four shares, every four shares, you'll be entitled to purchase one share of common stock from the company at discounted price. And that is a basic right, okay? So for every four shares you own, you're getting one uh, share here at a discounted price, okay? The purchase price will be 25% discount, the volume weighted average VWAP of the sales prices of our common stock of OTC pink ships for five consecutive trading days. So whatever the uh, general price here is for five consecutive trading days, that will be the average price they take. So by way of example, it says here, if the price is about 0.016, which it currently is at this moment in time, your discounted subscription price would be 0.0012. So you're getting that discounted price there on the, that portion of shares. You'll get an estimated subscription price when sending in your request. Some companies will send you out a notification. Okay, I know if you're with Trading212, they usually send out push notifications. I had that with Tui. You can then opt in to do the rights offering, etc. if that's what you choose to do. Other brokerage must do similar things, okay? But you can send in your request for the discounted shares and then the estimated subscription price you will purchase. So if you was to get the estimated price here of what on this example, 0 0.0012, and you purchase 1 million shares, you'll send the payment of $1,200, okay? Because that would be obviously the, the, the discounted price and the amount of shares you're buying. But whatever the amount you send in is the amount of shares you will get, okay? So just because that's estimated, it might change. It says in this example, if it drops down to 0 0.0010, then you'll obviously end up getting more shares for your money, okay? So whatever you wanna put in, if you wanna purchase $100 of shares, send $100 in and you'll get 25% of the discounted price, whatever that ends up being. This is one of the key lines from this, okay? If you're fully exercised, your intended allotment of shares, everybody gets that allotment amount, okay? You will not be diluted as a result of the rights offering. That's the key thing here. This is not a share dilution, but you would obviously own a less percentage of the company, but this is not a share dilution. If you oversubscribe and purchase additional shares, you'll actually increase your percentage of ownership. So that's the key thing here, okay? If you did get more and you oversubscribed, if somebody didn't choose to take out the rights offering and you wanted to get more, then you would be increasing your ownership, which is good down the long run, okay? If you had a massive amount of shares, you would have have says in things like reverse splits etc okay it really depends on your position size in the company of course but this is the thing if you do not want to participate or subscribe to this rights offering your shares will not be reduced but you will own less company on the percentage basis and this will result in a dilution so it's not a direct dilution but obviously you own less percentage but if you are in this for the short term okay this really isn't a massive, massive concern. Now, a lot of people say, no, this is a good and bad reason. It's good because they're raising money, of course. They're gonna get $100 million worth of cash here, hopefully, if this all goes through. And the bad reason is people are gonna be diluted. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Most people are in this company here for the short term because of the lawsuit news. When I say short term, we're talking maybe a year, maybe uh, less in some cases, maybe two years, but not in this for five, 10 years most people anyway. So having a share dilution really isn't a worst thing going in the world. Yes, we normally see a bit of a drop in the share price in the short term, but over time people forget about this and carry on with their life, okay? That's what happens on stock splits, reverse split mergers, etc. We've seen this time and time again. I think overall this is a good thing for HCMC, raising money, taking advantage of uh, people buying into those shares as well. Now it says they're obviously waiting the SEC approval from the Form S1, and this could take anywhere from 20 to 90 days. We'll obviously get an update on this once it does go through and then we can start to get our rights offering if you choose to take advantage of this. HCMC will update you when the right offering commences. Hopefully that's 
made things very clear on okay, what this is. It is literally a rights offering to raise more money for this company where you can purchase some shares at a discounted price. One thing I would say is HMC is such a volatile stock. We have seen this stock drop 20 plus percent in a week. So yes, you're getting a 25% discount, but really this stock is so volatile, okay? It's not like you're getting a Tesla at 25% discount or Facebook, some stocks which aren't that volatile. This is so volatile, 25%, you know, we've seen this drop less than 0.0012, if this is the price it remains at, 1.6. We've seen it drop less than the 1.2 on, on a few different times now, okay? So if we did get that rise off front, then maybe in the long term it could drop even lower. So would you really be getting it at that discount? That's what you have to ask yourself, okay, in my opinion. Let's have a look at the share price. Over the last five days, you can see, you know, been a bit up and down. We are trading a lot higher now than we have been in many of our previous videos. It was kind of hovering around the 12, 11 mark. Uh, yeah, but now we're at 16, okay? We did see this hit 19 on Monday, and then it was around about 15. At this moment in time, we are trading at 16. That is uh, just over a tenth of a penny per share, okay? 0 0.0016, crazy, crazy cheap. It's interesting to see how this rights offering plays out, how many people will take it up. I think a lot of people will take this up. People like to get things at a discount, and this is great for HMC because they're going to improve a lot of shareholders, get a lot more shareholders in this company, and a lot more of those shares are going to be bought up. So like a quick update today, but I will give you more updates on this company. I'm sure we're going to get some information from this rights offering very, very soon, exactly how we can go about taking advantage of this, whether you want to or not. Will I be taking advantage? Right now, I'm 50-50. I don't want to put more money into HCMC. I have, I have a, a nice position size, what I'm happy with. But at the same point, discounted shares, maybe. It very is interesting. I'll let you know in future videos whether I go ahead or not. At the moment, I'm 50-50. It is good if you're in this one, if you really do believe in them. This, for me, is a speculative investment. Okay, I've always said this. Speculative, risky investment has a chance to make you crazy, crazy gains. But you could easily lose pretty much everything you put in because if they don't get the lawsuit, we know what's going to happen to this stock. Most people are going to be selling out and taking their shares, okay? So there's that to consider. If you appreciate these updates, please go ahead and smash the like and subscribe to my channel as well. Lots more updates coming out in the next few days and weeks ahead as well. Thanks for watching and until next time.